Hello everybody, it's been a while and I'm looking at this camera and it's all cockeyed and I'm sorry but if I touch where it is it's quite likely to land up on the floor and we won't get a video at all. Um, <clears throat> hello everybody, it's been a few weeks and I do apologise. Um, I've been on caring responsibilities for want of a better, or caring duties, um, doing the odd nights here and there so if I'm not with it today I, I was on night all night last night. So, um, but that's good and it's all good, all good. Um, and then I had COVID, didn't I? The last sort of two, three weeks, I've been quite sort of coffee, head and all the rest of it, like everybody else. So it slowed me down on an awful lot of counts and has got me behind <laughs> with so much stuff. So I'm sorry. Anyway, I had a good day yesterday and I catched, I catched up on a lot. I caught up on it. I'm sorry. You're going to have to excuse me. The brain has gone. <coughs> So, back to Witter Quilts, all right? So, the last Witter Block that I did, or at least the one before last, that I, I sort of really, really loved, and I think I actually said at the time that I might land up doing more than one of it. I've landed up doing four, making it into a section. So this one here, yeah? I absolutely love it. It's, it's Witter Block 9, um, and I've put those four together, and do you know, I want to keep going. I love it. I really love it. Um, you could have turned them the other way and had stripes coming out like a star, like the end one, as it were, really. But I've turned them inwards so that you've got a, a surround going on. So actually, I'm way ahead of you lot now, probably. So I've done, I did three of them. And then I've done what will, in effect, be the last Witter, clock, uh, wit witter Block for this quilt. So this is um, Witter Block 11 for quilt 10. Get it around the right way. All right, so I don't know if you can see that there. This one's reliant on fabric placement, yeah? And it actually follows the lead of this one here with the bit down the middle. Because I, I do, I just love that one. So what we've got here is literally just squares and half square triangles. And it's where you place your fabric that will give you the stripes in that manner. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So... I have done an exceedingly basic um, pattern for it and you can see I've sort of shaded in the triangles, the half square triangles that need to be of a darker fabric so, or, or vice versa um, to make that that stripe show up. All right, and then the two little points. Now I'm hiccuping. I'm sorry. I'm having one of them days, aren't I? Ah, there we go. Anyway, so there we go. That's going to make, at least I've got, 16 blocks in total, I think. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, and that one makes 16. So that's as much as I'm going to put in mine. I'm going to do it 4 by 4 um, And I do want to put sashings. Now, because these ones have been put together without sashings, I'm going to have a wider around those two sections. Okay. And then normal, probably, <coughs> around the rest. But I've had this little idea. Now, I don't know if it's going to work. Because um, I have got leftover. I had to keep adding bits to it all the way through, as you know. But I've actually got quite a lot of little tiddly. Because I don't throw anything away until I know I don't want it anymore. So I've got all these bits and pieces and stuff in there. So I thought I'm going to do what they call a bit of crumb... crumb. I think people call it crumb quilting, but crumb patchwork. So... What I'm going to do is just get any odds and sods and shapes and just sew them all together at any angle. I really don't care to make a strip. Um, and then I'll chop it nicely even all the way down. And then because I need more around those two, I'm going to edge it both sides. <coughs> so if I was to put, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half, two inches between all of these, I know I'm going to be two inches out on all of these. So I'm going to make it up with this crumb and I'm going to put whatever the sashing fabric is, both sides of it, so you get like a channel. Um, a little bit like how you would start to do seminal patchwork because so, you land up with all these and then you chop them and do stuff. Um, so we're going to do crummy, 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 little half inch probably border each side of that to put in amongst and to make those the same size as these will come up to and then put the, the normal sashing amongst them. And then the border, 
I'm going to have a little sashingy colour dark all the way round. Um, and then I'm going to do a crumb border. I'm going to have all sorts of odds and sods everywhere and I really don't care. And we'll see what that does. I think that might be quite nice. So um, <coughs> that's what I intend doing in order to put it all together. When that's going to happen is another matter. But hopefully those of you that have been waiting for this one, you've now got enough information um, to finish off or enough blocks. If you don't like the two that I've repeated, repeat your favourite one into a four and a four maybe it's totally up to you um and then i will show you in the next witter how i've done the the sashings because i in my brain i know what i'm on about it might just not come across very well at the time um but then i will show you all okay so it means you can all get on and do a bit and i do apologize as i say that it's been so long um having caring duties going on as well as covid didn't help matters at all um but anyway so this week actually is Malvern. Okay, so I hope to be there. The plan is for me to be there. I've had to cancel so much and I do apologise to everybody. Um, but I intend to be there and I will be on the Kaleidoscope book stand with Susan. Um, helping on the books and I'll have all of my patterns there and <coughs> templates and stuff. And I'll be teaching once a day. But if you want to learn what I'm teaching, which is the Japanese folded patch with my template, the new template that I have, um, it's first come, first serve on the bookings, I believe, on um, teaching there at Malvern. So I am doing one class each day. So please, if you want to be there, get straight to it and book it immediately, okay? Because <coughs> you can only book on the day. But it's going to be so nice to have a few days of normality. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to it and, and saying hello to a few people and meeting some of you that I know have been following and doing and the rest of it and I've never met before or I don't know that I've met you or I don't remember or all of that because there's so many people that I meet. Um, don't ever be offended if I turn around and look at you blank and say, who are you? Because I quite often know the face. I just won't know the name. I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless. So just jog my mind of all of that, all of you. Tell me who you are and say hello because that would be lovely. I'm really looking forward to that, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Um, yeah, so, Mulvaney, oh, do you know what I'm really... I am going to say it because I was very upset. I was supposed to be judging at Malvern, um, and I can't do it because I can't really get up there the day before, um, and I couldn't guarantee that I could be there. So, do you know, I've missed out. I so You have to be invited to... Um, um, to judge at the shows um, or at that show anyway and, and uh, never mind maybe next year it would be nice to think that I'd actually been asked I was so so chuffed and now I can't do it never mind such is life right okay my my tulips have nearly had it but aren't they gorgeous fabulous I don't know if you can see that there's some gorgeous gorgeous purple ones in the back here um different shapes and things love them somebody bought me them last week it was fabulous right okay I'm gonna <coughs> disappear i'm gonna have an afternoon nap with tom the cat i am and see can i can i get a bit of energy going again and i will see you all hopefully um later in the week at malvern or for the next winter which i hope will be a lot quicker than this last one's been as i say i hope you're all well happy um stitching producing don't forget to put your your, your pictures on the facebook group please let everybody see what you're doing um and it would be fabulous if you could um follow on my youtube channel i would really appreciate that and get anybody else to follow as well that would be fabulous and um, get them all talking into the witter group you know it's what it's about let's witter what are we doing what are we doing are we enjoying ourselves get everybody in there get them all doing a bit mm. okay one last thing be lovely <laughs> <laughs>